Hello everyone, my name is Holly and I work in genealogy and local history at the Columbus Public Library. This video is part of a series about Ancestry 101. In this series I will be introducing books that I've grouped together to help patrons focus on an area of genealogy interest. These are books that you can place on reserve and have delivered to your car with our convenient curbside pickup. The titles I'll cover are currently at the Columbus Public Library branch, but if you would like to check them out and have them delivered to a branch that is more convenient, please let us know. So here is today's topics, from start to finish. The information in these books will give you a good overall start in your search to build your family tree. First is a genealogy source book by Sharon DeBartolo Carmack. It gets a 4.11 stars rating out of 5 on Goodreads. Despite its publication date of 1998, it remains a popular starting point for many first-time genealogists because it is easy to follow and the fundamentals are sound. The author covers topics like how and why oral interviews are invaluable, independent study courses for more in-depth learning, and you know a lot is free and available online through sources like YouTube, BYU videos, Family Search, and Ancestry, successful search strategies, types of repositories and what can be found in each one. She includes several case studies and has an excellent bibliography. She also suggests genealogy periodicals, newsletters, and magazines. And here are examples of some that are available to browse right here in Genealogy and Local History. Next we have Genealogy 101 by Barbara Rennick. This is another title in the National Genealogical Society guidebook series. In her introduction, the author says she tried to make the book entertaining by weaving in stories of her own family history adventures with her explanations of how to do genealogy. Her focus is on three types of beginners. Those who have never done any family tree tracing, those who have already tried tracing their ancestors but realized it's a good idea to know how to put the pieces together before you get too far, and those who find pieces in their family tree but they're not sure about the accuracy of what they found. Interestingly, she ranks seven categories of resources from most accurate and accessible to least records from churches, probate, civil, family, census, single or multiple sources. The ones at the top and bottom of her list might surprise you. For those of you exploring genealogy software, she poses excellent questions to ask before your purchase. And for those of you that would like to upgrade or change companies, she explains how you can use GEDCOM to do this. The book has a glossary, but no bibliography. She does reference a follow-up book called Online Genealogy. That Next, we have The Everything Family Tree Book by Kimberly Powell, which is part of the Everything book series that says they give you everything you need to know on a subject while throwing in a lot of fun stuff, too. It's kind of along the lines of The Idiot's Guide to whatever and The Dummies series of books. The book features what are called e-essentials, e-facts, and e-alerts. These sidebars reveal extra bits of information to help you locate your ancestor in time and place. You can read the book straight through or just pick out the information you want. The author's bona fides include being the genealogy expert for the website about.com for 16 years. She's also earned a certificate in genealogical research from Boston University and is an instructor at both the Salt Lake Institute of Genealogy and the Institute of Genealogy and Historical Research. 
This is a down-to-earth, easy-to-read book that lives up to its billing. In the first few pages, you will see the top 10 beginner mistakes to avoid. And beginner family historians, please take note of this list and refer back to it often as you look for your ancestors. There are chapters addressing names and naming traditions, how to dig for deeds and property ownership, differences between state land and public land, also called federal land, and how they're surveyed. Some of you may be familiar with the terms meets and bounds, but you, did you know the word meander was used to indicate a property boundary? There's a chapter titled Special Situations in Family Trees that covers adoption, African American roots, Jewish genealogy, and Native American research. Remember those eFacts, eAlerts, and eSentials I mentioned? Here's an example. An eAlert notes that Jews listing Russia as a place of origin on a census may have lived in areas that are today part of Poland, Ukraine, Belarus, Latvia, Lithuania, or Moldova. This book has an extensive list of resources for further information listed by chapter. Its information will give you a good start climbing your family tree. Finally, we have How to Do Everything with Your Genealogy by George G. Morgan. The fourth edition will be added to the collection later this year. The author is a world-renowned author and lecturer and one half of the longest-running genealogy podcast called The Genealogy Guys Podcast. While the book claims to be directed to genealogists at all experience levels, it is really more in-depth than the Everything Family Tree book. There are illustrations to help you visualize the documents and websites that are discussed in the text, and screenshots of web pages from a variety of online databases and genealogical software programs to help you see what the providers have to offer. What makes this book unique is that it covers major record types available not only in the U.S., but in Canada and the United Kingdom. There are also sections on how to use the Freedom of Information Act, how to find websites when their addresses have changed or have been discontinued, and a discussion about the differences between search engines. And yes, there are others besides Google, Bing, or Yahoo. He explains how to write an effective post to message boards. and covers four types of evidence found in resources, primary, secondary, original, or derivative. Lastly, there's a chapter on what to do when you hit the proverbial brick wall. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and have a great day.